Hello, Julio Cesar. Do you listen to me, Julio Cesar? Hello, DJ. Oh. Ah, okay. Now you're there. Okay, let's get started, Julio Cesar. You're the only one right now, okay? Tell me how was your day today? How was your day today at work? ¿Cómo estuvo el día hoy en el trabajo? Ah, hoy descansé. Oh, really? Yes. You, ha you have to say, uh, okay, I'm going to share with you, okay, the expression right now over here. Let's see. Here we go. And then you say, today, today, okay, was my day off. Today was what? my day my off. off. Mm -hmm. Or I had the day off. So it means that you didn't work, okay? Okay. Okay, great. So today you relax because it was your day off, yes? Yes. Okay, excellent. So you all have a lot of energy today, yes? Yes. Okay, excellent. And Miguel, hello, Miguel Angel, welcome. Hello, teacher, good hello. evening. Good evening, welcome. Thank you for joining to the class. Okay, people, listen. We're going to have the makeup uh, class today and with the same date, okay? Eh, vamos a tener la clase con la misma fecha porque recuerden que acá es para que quede eh, constancia de su asistencia a la clase de ese día, ¿correcto? Entonces lo vamos a hacer tal cual como lo hicimos. Wilbur Francisco, hello, welcome. Uh, good evening. Let's get good, started. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thank good evening, you for night. joining. Good evening. Good evening to everyone. And here we go. I'm going to start uh, sharing my screen with you because remember that at um, eight thirty we are going to start with your survey. Okay. And here we go. Okay. So this is the one. Uh, this was on March 17, twenty twenty-three. And in our uh, video conference number eight, we were working at pages 23 and 24. The first activity as every day is greetings. We're going to have a feedback on what we did the previous class and uh, the objectives. One of you is going to help me reading. In the pre-task, we have to practice formulating yes, no questions in the simple past tense. The preparation task is to write a five-line paragraph five sentences about previous business events. And your task is that you will generate content to share previous experience about business events. Now you have a knowledge about it, yeah? And here we have the objectives. So class, I need one volunteer to help me reading the objectives. Uh, me, teacher. Okay, please, thank you. Go ahead. We'll the specific objective students will be able to describe past networking experience in business events by using the simple past and yes or no question. Class objective, the class will be able to describe past networking experience in business using the simple past and yes, no question. Excellent, great. So here uh, we're going to be practicing the yes, no questions. Remember, are those questions in which we have the only two choices to answer affirmative or in a negative way, yeah? The answers may be usually they are short, the short answers. And one more thing is that we don't, we don't have to confuse the yes no questions and the information questions because in the information questions you give the information that they are requesting from you yeah but in here you are confirming or you are uh, saying that something is not true or is incorrect in the yes no questions and uh, okay homeworks and evaluations by now 
uh, everybody, all the people who are here connected in class are okay with the activities for your week, uh, your weekdays lessons and also your evaluations. Okay, so no problem in that sense. And here, okay, one volunteer to help me reading this information in Spanish. One volunteer in Spanish because it is in Spanish. Me teacher. Okay, thank you, Miss. Go ahead, please. Requerimiento. Nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyentes, agregar palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Participación activa. Excellent. The most important part, active participation, okay? And again here, the attendance, remember that this is the main reason why we are here now, yeah? Because of your attendance, is required 120 minutes of classes in order to generate the effective attendance. And some of you have been connected the 100%. So congratulations for those. And again, just as a reminder that the attendance is taken twice. The first one at about 8.20 and the second one at about 9.40. Remember that it is taken as valid your attendance when we listen to you saying presente, here I am, here, or um, okay, you say something, teacher, here I am, or hey class, I'm here. And the one-on-one -on -one sessions at the end of the class is available. One student is going to be assigned in order to stay with the teacher at the end of the class to reinforce something, okay? Something that you might have doubt about. And here we have that this is the expected, okay? The expected screen that I need to see when uh, I am asking you about something everybody with the cameras on. And as your classmates read, the mute or silence button must be active. Cameras on, the two chats are available, the breakout rooms also, and the ask for help button. And above all, respect, okay? And here, we're going to go over this, okay? It is a speaking time, but before we go over the speaking time, I'm going to stop sharing for a while class because we're going to have a short feedback on what we did yesterday. And in order to do that, I'm going to share okay, here because you've been working a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And here we go. Actually, this is a, a feedback, but on simple past tense. But yesterday we were working a lot, a lot on here. Do you remember? Accommodations and amenities and you were classifying this uh, list of words, yeah? From one to 12 and we did it in the general uh, or main session room. We classified accommodations and amenities and you were recalling, you were reviewing the definitions of the word accommodations and the word amenities is that correct yes and you were also yes, yes, yes. identifying the mistakes in three sentences out of these five sentences you had to notice and pay attention which three sentences had a mistake to notice and to correct them yeah and also you were labeling these um, sign roads yeah and you did it in an excellent way. But there was something that we didn't do. Now we're going to practice. Speaker A and speaker B. What does that, what does that sign mean? It means there is a school zone ahead. What about that one? It means that the speed limit is 45 miles per hour. So you are going to use this information, okay, these images and the numbers and the meaning of each of these signs in order to construct this short conversation. But first, 
I need to volunteer in order to practice the conversation the way as it is, okay? So tell me the two volunteers are to practice this conversation for the class, only reading, A and B. Two volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, okay, we have a Wilbur, you are going to be letter A, and Evelyn, you letter B, okay? So here we go. Let me see. Okay, let's begin. The speaker A. You, Wilbur, you are you, A. Okay. What, what, does, what does that thing mean? It means there is a school song ahead. What about that home? The, what about that one? It means that the speed limit is 45 miles per hour. Okay, very well. There is only one thing that I would like to point out. Sign here, this word sign, not sign. Sign. sign, sign, yeah, okay. What does that sign mean, okay? It means there is a school zone ahead. What about that one? It means that the speed limit is 45 miles per hour, yeah? So class, you are going to practice this short conversation and also you are going to to create one, to practice. For example, what does that sign mean? And you say, for example, number six, yes? And then you say, it means, it means, and then you have, which one, what does it mean? What does it mean? Okay, no U-turns, yes? It means no U-turns, or it means you don't have to turn in you. What about that one? And you choose another one. For example, number eight. It means that you have to stop, yeah? When you see that sign. Do you get it? Yes? Comprendimos la actividad? Yes, teacher. Okay, first you read the conversation as your classmates did. You switch roles. Later, you are going to replace this, um, these signs by two of these ones. Yes? Is that okay? Luego van a sustituir las, estas señales que están acá por dos de estas que están acá y practican la conversación. Okay? Yeah? Okay, class. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. So you can practice. And when you return, I'm going to take your attendance, okay? Here we go, you are, let me see, 13 by now. Ooh. Hello everyone, hello Carlos, Hazel, Andrea Lisbeth, Virginia hello, hello. is joining, Rudy. Uh, Rafael, welcome, Elizabeth Johanna, Marvin, and the others I already greeted you. Hey, Julio, Wilbur, Carlos, and Evelyn. Now I'm going to create the groups. And let me see how many students. Okay. Okay, let me see, okay, because there was a group with five people. Carlo, okay. Go to your groups, please. Right now I'm sending you the invitation class. Okay, go to your groups, please.
Catherine, go to your group. Elizabeth, Johanna, join your groups, please. Girls. Vamos a ver entonces. Veamos. Mm. usted? Carlos and Hazel only. And Miguel as a listener. I don't know if he is able because here you're supposed to be Catherine with you. But anyways, you you two are more than enough, yeah. To practice <laughs> as much as possible, okay? And okay. maybe maybe if Miguel has a chance, he can join you, okay? To practice. Okay. Okay, see okay. you. Bye. Bye. So, Teacher. Yes. Vamos a practicar la conversación. Uh -huh. y, tal cual, y tal cual como, tal cual como la practicaron en, en el salón principal, ¿verdad? Usted y el compañero. Sí. Así tal cual como está. Sí. Luego lo que vamos a hacer es a sustituir. Eh, ejemplo. Veamos, sustituimos. Uh, What does that sign mean? Acaba usted a seleccionar otro número de señal. Por ejemplo, podría ser, le decía, la número 3. ¿Ok? What does that sign mean? Number 3. Y acá específicamente usted escribe number 3. ¿Verdad? It means, eso quiere decir, y acá buscamos de acuerdo a lo que trabajamos anteriormente. No overtaking. It means no overtaking. ¿Verdad? Esa es una. What about that one? ¿Qué me dice de esta otra? And you say, for example, number one. What about that one? Number one. And then, mm, and then you get back. Number one, don't, because that is the left side. Yes? Don't turn left. Esta que está acá, ¿sí? Don't turn left. Okay. It means don't turn left. Okay? Okay. Okay, great. Thanks. My pleasure. See you. See you, teacher. Okay. Don't, don't, don't continue. Una parada de no, de no continuar. Pero ahí sería, it means there, there is, is, a, is a don't continue. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, don't continue or only uh, uh, stop. Don't, uh huh, no. Mm -hmm. uh, don't continue, the hemel, I say. Don't, okay. don't continue. Es en la, es en una, y en la segunda, uh, what about that one? Yes, but in that you have to mention the number. En ese te, les pido que mencionen el nombre para que para que sean más específicos, ¿verdad? Cuando uh -huh. ya lo vayan ustedes a, a, a trabajar personalizado, ¿sí? Para que el compañero o la compañera se ubique y le diga cuál es el significado, ¿ok? De la señal. En la segunda. Sí. Y ya cuando ustedes lo, porque veamos, por ejemplo, acá, Wilber and Company, what, that, what does that sign mean? And then you, you say, what does that sign mean? Number three, for example. Number uh -huh. three, hay que decir el número para saber qué le va a contestar el compañero o compañera. It uh -huh. means, it means significa um, no. no overtaking. Okay, uh -huh. this one, no overtaking. Esa es la primera parte. Luego, what about that one? Number, number two. ¿Qué uh -huh. me dice de esta otra? La número dos. It uh -huh. means, it means this exit goes to. Yes? Ok. Ok. Eh, what about that one? Eh, y, el, y el number. El, oh, yeah, the number, the number. So what about you, that one? And you that one, that. number, number eight. Yeah, that for example. One, Mm -hmm. That one, that one, number, number eight. Uh -huh. It means that you have to stop. Yes. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. That. 
It means that. It means that you, you have to stop. Have, uh, Eso significa have, que te tienes que detener, tienes que detener te detener, debes uh -huh. detener, ya. Ok, ya. Okay. Vaya, entonces. It, it's, it, it means there is a, it means yes. that you have to stop. Do, do, that you have to stop. Separar. Yes, you have to stop. Okay, okay. what about that one, number one? Yeah, it's up to you. Okay, great. And then you are replacing the information, yes? Ahí estamos Teacher, sustituyendo yeah. la información. Uh, yes. it, what about that number one? What about that number one? ¿Qué me dice sobre esa? La número uno. Uh -huh. Porque ya no se puede decir that, that one, one No, one. no. It's better to say that number one. Se podría decir, pero es más específico si usted dice that's number one. Mm -hmm. Aquella, la número uno. Aquella, la número uno. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok. Eh, vaya, Leti y Julio. Eh, oh. Veamos la... Ya tenemos la del stop. Y... What about that number one? Quizás no. Hola. Hola. Se me eh, escucha. Sí. Eh, si gusta, practiquen la conversación en lo que en lo que escribo en el chat. Voy a decir la letra A. What does that, that thing mean? It means there's is school song I what about the horn? That one. It meant in me a start the speed limit. Speed limit is yes. Forty forty-five. <laughs> it's for five, forty five minutes. Miles for forty five miles per hour. Virginia, repeat after me forty five, forty five miles, miles per out. Per. Uh -huh. Hour. Hour. Okay, very good. Okay, continue. Okay, uh, ahora sería yo la letra B. 35. Start, please. And what does dancing mean? Dancing. Dancing mean. Dancing mean. It's me and there is school song I hear. But about a uh, tan home. No. One. It's <laughs> <mean. laughs> Relax, don't get nervous. Okay, continue, Rudy. It means that the speed limit is 45 miles per hour. Great. Right. But okay, I listen, class. I, I just want to suggest you something. What does that sign sign? Because sign is cantar. Mm. Sign, Oops. sign, esa señal. Sign. Fíjense que sign significa firmar, pero como nombre sustantivo, eh, eh, señal, ¿verdad? It means there is blah, blah. What about that one? ¿Qué me dice de aquella? Okay. It means that the speed limit is um, how many? Okay, miles. it is 45 miles per hour. Okay, 45 miles per hour. Okay, did you finish the practice? Yes. Yes. Okay. Teacher, yes, Miss. En el chat 
describí la conversación, los cambios que le hicimos. Ah, a ok. What does that sign mean? Okay, thank you. What does that sign mean? Number six. It means there is no U-turns. What about that one? Number eight. It means that uh, that uh, it means don't continue. Or it means that you don't have to continue. Okay, but that's okay. It means don't continue. It means don't continue. Okay. Or I'm going to write the other one, the possible one. Okay. It means that you don't have to continue. Okay. Okay, excellent. Now, class, let's return to the main session room. Okay. Thank you for the practice. Let's wait for the other partners to return, okay? Go, let's see. Okay, let's wait for the others to return so we can get started with the survey. Hey, class, congratulations. I listened to you practicing, okay? So let's see. Okay, here we go. Please get ready with the survey. Oigan, chicos, vamos a comenzar con la encuesta. Ahora bien. Hmm. Lo van a llenar en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp o por medio del correo. Ubíquense, por favor. Ingresen al link de la encuesta. Aparecen las fechas, ¿verdad? Ahí les compartieron las fechas. ¿Sí? La información que les piden. Cuando estén listos me avisan porque les voy a compartir el video. Por si no lo han visto. ¿Estamos? ¿Sí? Ok, teacher. Ok, me avisen, chicos. Bien. Ya abrí, teacher. El, 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 el link. El survey. Ok, de survey. Bien, entonces comienzo a compartirles yes. el video para que, eh, para que no hayan malos entendidos, ¿verdad? Si alguien tiene duda, me avisa y le podemos ayudar. Okay, here we go. Oh. ¿Escuchan el audio? No. Okay, you're now, teacher. okay, now here we go. So sorry, I noticed. Okay, from the beginning. Apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. 
¿Todos bien con ese punto, con la orden de inicio? Yes. Ok, yes, la co copiar y pegar, ¿verdad? Ok, continuamos entonces. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido. Ok, copiar y pegar tal cual como se los han compartido en el, en el correo. ¿sí? When you are done, please let me know. Don't teach. Okay, thank you. Virginia, are you done? Cesar, Julio Cesar? Yes, yes. Okay. Shall we continue? Yes. Continuamos. Y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. igual manera. Bien, copiar y pegar el correo electrónico de ustedes, ¿verdad? Con el que se les contacta. Ready? Ya vamos a colocar así. Finished? Yes. Con el correo. Ok. Yes. Perfecto. Colocar el, eh, luego pasamos al siguiente punto, ¿ok? Número celular, colocar el número que brindó al, in, a inglés corporativo. También se los han compartido, el que ustedes eh, compartieron al inicio. ¿sí? El número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente. Copiar y pegar. ¿sí? Don. Ya copiamos y pegamos el número de celular. Si es. lo están digitando, verifiquen que sea correctamente el número, que no se les escape por error involuntario, ¿verdad? Ok, now let's continue. The most difficult. Finalmente colocamos el sexo en el punto. Ok. Acá solo es a seleccionar. Then we go over number six. Punto número seis. Vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. ¿Dónde residen actualmente? ¿Dónde están viviendo actualmente? ¿Don? ¿Shall we? ¿Podemos continuar, chicos? Yes. Ok. Yes. Espera. Vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. Okay. En el punto número. Vamos con el punto 7, ¿sí? Acá no es a seleccionar, sino a escribirlo. Escriben bien, con cuidadito, please. Shall we? ¿Podemos continuar? Yes. Ok, great. Yes. En el punto número 8, vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. El nombre de la empresa en la cual están laborando. ¿sí? Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan. 
Ok, copiar y pegar el nombre de la empresa o razón social, tal cual como se les ha compartido. Si ¿Sí lo visualizan todo, ¿verdad? En su correo. ¿Todos y todas tienen esa información, chicos? No, yo no. ¿Por qué no? Solo la razón social es la que... Sí, nombre de la empresa según Infracorp, lo que aparece ahí, esa información. Ajá, pero es que ahí dice Unicomere CDCB, pero anteriormente cuando llené la encuesta en el, en el anterior, le habían puesto otro nombre. Mm, permítame, vamos a verificar su caso. Pero... Ya sería la entidad, creo. Hola. Esa creo que sería la entidad donde que, que sería re, renegado algo así. Permítanme. A ver. Pero ¿por qué le cambiaron nombre, Julio? ¿Se recuerda? Eh, no, es que nosotros solo le, la conocemos como eh, Unión con el, el de El Salvador. Esa Pero... es la empresa donde trabaja, Julio. Ah, Ajá. sí, sí. Es que eso sí lo tengo claro. Es lo, Pero el nombre, es el lo nombre. mismo. Este, a nosotros nos dijeron que le pusiéramos Unión Comercial de El Salvador. ¿Quién les dijo eso? El profesor anterior. Bueno, por permítame. Eso quería, por eso quería pedirlo, porque igual a mí el correo yo lo tengo aquí abierto en la computadora y no me ha caído esa información. Sí, yo tampoco lo tengo. Solo lo que mandaron a mí tampoco al me lo han enviado. Solo el WhatsApp. Sí. Al correo, yo creo que sí lo tienen. Lo que pasa es. Yo ya lo que... busqué en spam y tampoco lo tengo. Vaya, ahí. permítanme, permítanme. Vamos a ver. Eh, Julio César, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo solo la razón social me necesito y todo lo demás. Necesito todo. Todo está ahí. Ah, unión comercial. Sí. Te lo copio. Sí, okay. permítame. ¿Sí lo sabe escribir o...? o... Sí, 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 ahí está. Ah, en vaya, el perfecto. Video. Unión Comercial del Salvador S.A. Ajá. ¿Quién más me decía que necesitaba esto, esta información? Eh, yo, teacher. María Leticia. María Leticia. María Leticia. Ok, Leti. Enríquez, Guillén, María, Dora Mejía, farmacia, eso okay. lo tiene, o se lo comparto. Eh, no, así solo, el, eh, solo repítame, Enrique, Guillén. Se lo, se, lo, se, lo, se lo, es que está con mayúscula, todo tal cual como está acá. Ah. Ajá, entonces lo voy a copiar y se lo voy a compartir vía, vía chat de Zoom, ¿le parece? Ok. Ok, veamos acá. Farmacia Santa Isabel, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí lo tiene. ¿Quién más? Yo, teacher. Evelyn, veamos, Evelyn. Evelyn Yamilet. Va. Sí. Young Gun. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Te lo comparto también. Te lo voy a compartir eh, vía chat. Sí. Ok, acá para. El que... nombre de la. De la empresa. Vale, ahí está. Sí, y de, in, de, de inglés corporativo también, por favor. Es que como todo eso lo tenemos que poner, ¿verdad? En la encuesta. Sí, pero, pero ya cuando lleguemos a esa etapa, ¿ok? Regal International. Sí, cuando uh -huh, lleguemos, sí. Oh, por el momento solo focalicémonos en estos, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. ok. Ok. Ya se lo compartí. Bien, todos me avisan cuando hayan terminado esta etapa para que continuemos con el video, ¿ok? Listo. Ok, ¿ready? Leti and Evelyn. Yes. Ok, so let's continue with the video. Para que todos vayamos al unísono. Ay, permítanme que no, no vi si les compartí porque cada vez que compartimos, ya. Yeah. 
y va partido el audio. Okay, ya... Nombre del proveedor que capacitó. Acá escuchen que les van a decir cuál es el que tienen que seleccionar. En el nombre del proveedor vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que uh -huh. es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a despedir. Usted hace clic acá y comienza a buscarlo. Despliega, despliega ¿verdad? Vamos a la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Que está acá, mire, Inglés Corporativo Regal International es ACB, SADCB. ¿Sí? Este que está acá es el que vamos a marcar, a seleccionar. ¿Sí, Evelyn? ¿Lo encontró, Evelyn? ¿Inglés corporativo? Sí, ya está. Ok, chico. muy bien. ¿Virginia, vamos bien? Sí, sí. ¿Julio, sí, vamos bien? Yes, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Lo seleccionamos. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. El nombre del curso, si ¿sí lo tienen. Yes. Inglés yes. principiante yes. módulo 3 o quieren que se lo comparta. Con mayúscula, inglés principiante módulo 3. Copiar y pegar como se los han compartido y también está en WhatsApp. Yes. Ok. El, yes, el nombre Carlos. de la empresa donde trabajo es en mayúscula. Eh, se los han compartido en mayúscula y en el registro que yo tengo de las asistencias de ustedes está todo con mayúscula. Ah, vaya, vaya. Ah, pues uh -huh. sí, eh, lo voy a cambiar porque yo lo, lo puse con minúscula. Gracias. Ok. ¿Shall we? ¿Podemos continuar, chicos? Yes. yes. Ok. De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. A copiar el número del curso. Y vamos a colocar. Copiar y pegar. En el punto número 11. Las evaluaciones que ustedes serán, las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Okay. Estamos en el punto 11, ¿verdad? Recuerden que tienen que llenar cada una de las alternativas, seleccionando solamente una, ¿sí? Me dicen chicos para continuar con el siguiente punto. Cuando terminen el numeral 11. ¿Sí podemos continuar? Yes. Ok. Yes. Según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio de igual manera las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido.
En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, en las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que... Entonces será la fecha en que inició el curso. El calendario lo ubicamos en el año 2023, ¿verdad? Verifiquen que esté en el año 2023. Se ubican en el mes de marzo, ¿sí? Mes de marzo 2023. ¿Cuándo iniciamos? El día 6. Marcan el día 6, ¿sí? ¿Sí lo hicimos ya? Yes. Ok. Luego la fecha de finalización, de igual manera, hacen clic en el calendario. Nos ubicamos en el año 2023. Verifiquemos que estamos en el año 2023, por favor. Y nos ubicamos en el mes de abril. Abril 2023. Y vamos a seleccionar el día 12. de abril de 2023. ¿De acuerdo? Verifiquen bien esta info, please. Teacher, una duda. ¿Sí? Según la información que han mandado, dicen que es del, del 6 al 6, del 6 de marzo al 6 de abril. No sé si eso va a cambiar. No, fíjese que acá está la información que les han compartido en WhatsApp. El 6 de marzo de 2023 al 12 de abril de 2023, porque como se movieron las fechas, ¿verdad? Sí, Entonces, ahí está en el WhatsApp. Perdón. En WhatsApp que está actualizado, sí. La, la había mirado mal. <risa> Ay, no me mire mal. Gracias. Entonces, eh, Gracias. en la fecha, en el año 2023, mes de abril, día 12, ¿ok? Día 12. Y luego eh, el nivel de satisfacción, de satisfacción. Satisfaction level. Satisfecho. Okay. Ahí pasamos a la 14, ¿sí? Bien, continuamos. Buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización. De igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente... Ok. Se, recuerden que algún curso en el que ustedes pueden estar interesados eh, se oferta en eh, Excel... También se oferta marketing digital. Okay. Administración de empresa. Ok, escríbalo. Y cuando lo finalice a esto, fíjense bien, al recibir este mensaje, tomar captura de pantalla y enviarlo al grupo de WhatsApp con su nombre, ¿verdad? Para que sepamos quién y así van en orden. ¿Sí? Por orden de llegada. Vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Uh -huh. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Okay, muy bien, gracias Julio César, Miguel Ángel, Marvin. Hazel, thank you. Great. Great job. Okay. Rafa, thank you. Estoy esperando las otras, chicos. Carlos, thank you. 
Rudy, great. Elizabeth Johanna, thank you. Andrea Lisbeth, thanks a lot. Diez he recibido. Ya voy. Ok. <risa> ajá, ajá. Aquí voy, aquí voy. I didn't mention a name. Yo no mencioné ningún nombre. Ok, Leti. Ya llegará, ya lo envié. <risa> ya, yeah, it is here. María Leticia de Alejeño González. Uh, quiero ver quién me hace falta. Virginia. Ahorita, teacher. Ok. And let me see, Catherine. Catherine, I need yours. Catherine, necesito su captura. Ya casi termino. Ah, ok. Ok, ok. Esta que acabo de recibir, ¿de quién es? ¿Qué nombre? ¿Es la de Virginia o es la de Catherine? Es la mía, teacher, no le aparece el nombre. No, la última no. Ay, sí, es verdad. Se la mando nuevamente, teacher. Ok. Ok, great. Only Catherine is owing me the capture, ok, de screenshot. Solo Catherine no debe la screenshot. And now let's continue with the class. Thank you, class, for being here, ok, actively participating. And here we go. Ok, do you remember what is networking? ¿Recuerdan lo que es networking, chicos? Do you remember? Redes. But that is the translation. And I need, a, ok, Networking, networking, okay? What is it? What is it about, class? ¿De qué se trata cuando decimos networking? Sociales, redes sociales. Uh, kind of, okay, kind of. <laughs> Similar, very close, very close. Okay, but now you are going is, to, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Tell me. It's like uh, interacting with people. Yes, for, that's it. For okay. mutual for, benefit. Yes, that's correct. It is similar to Julio's answer and Carlos' answer. Now it is a speaking time. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms and you are going to answer these questions. What is networking? And this is a personal question. Are you good at networking in business events? Do you often share business cards when you network? Yes, I do or no, I don't. In number three. And are you good at networking in business events? Yes, I am or no, I'm not. So you have to ask and answer these questions. Is that okay? okay yes, teacher. okay. So I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. And let me see. Okay, join your groups. I'm going to send you the invitation. Ask and answer the three questions. Here we go. Join, please. Join your groups and provide an answer for the questions.
Okay, Letty, go to your group and Evelyn Jamilet, your partners are waiting for you, girls. Letty, go to group number two. And Evelyn, go to group number one. Evelyn, in group number one, Julio Cesar, Rudy, and Virginia are waiting for you, okay? Evelyn. Evelyn, we need you in group number one. Is that a thing? Vaya, se acuerda más o menos usted la vez pasada lo que había re respondido en las preguntas. Ah, uh, long, long time ago. Hace mucho, mucho tiempo. <laughs> but uh, here Evelyn is going to be with you. But uh, okay, Evelyn is back because I think she had problems with her connectivity. Okay. Bye. 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 So here you are, Virginia, Evelyn, and Julio Cesar. Okay. Bye. 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 Okay. I creo que este repaso está bien, verdad? It's good to to have a feedback. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Ah, ya, ya. Eh, con fecha sí. 17. Ajá, 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 ajá. Entre lo que le decía al grupo en el que estaba, I think that it is a good idea to have this feedback, ¿ya? Yeah? Sí. Okay, bye. Catherine, did you send me your, your... Catherine me envió su, su captura, no la veo por acá. Y no la van a estar llamando mañana por su... Por su encuesta. Sí, para que la haga nuevamente. Ok, Catherine. Me regala la, la, la captura, please. Ok, bye people, continue with the bye. practice. Okay, okay. Speaking, bye. Speaking, bye. Bye. Sí, cabal. Página cuánto me dice 23. Uh, uh, long, long, long time ago. <laughs> Esta clase va a terminar hasta midnight. A repasar todo lo que hemos visto en el curso. Sí, así veo. Yeah. Así veo <laughs> yes, that's it. Se fue bien atrás. <laughs> no, because it, we are replacing the class that we had on the April, I mean March, March the 8th, I think. Creo que fue el 8 de marzo, algo así. Okay. And you are getting your points in ah, your la, la clase per, de la, la, fue de de... la Por la asistencia. Esta fue. Ajá. Ah, uh -huh. Eso. Uh, okay. The eso problem primero. with Zoom. Yeah. That is why. But it is good to refresh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Es bueno refresh. Sí. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Clase 8. Yeah. Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, basically, um, in this class, uh, speak about the uh, 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 Rafa, Elizabeth, and Marvin. You're not available to practice. No. Okay. Veintitrés. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, la veintitrés. Vaya. Pues. Yo pienso que en el cuarque la red puede ser dependiendo de, de qué punto lo veamos. Puede ser redes sociales, puede ser una red de comercio, una red de, de personas. Vaya, es que ahí cuando usted dijo lo último, una red de personas, de eso se trata. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. que de repente vaya a algún evento o algún seminario. Uh -huh. 
Vaya, por eso. Entonces le ponemos ahí que es la red. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Claro. Vamos a ver. Y la otra que no había contestado era la segunda. Eh, no, la, bueno, las dos últimas. Entonces, ah, la, sí. la anterior sería de la última, Ajá, lo de las tarjetas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, la segunda me decía que, eh, que, que si el, ah, are you good at networking in business events? Ajá, igual y, no. Que no, porque. Mm, eh, pues porque no, no se hacen, no se crea ningún tipo de evento en, en red. Ok. Solo que, va, es que en el caso de networking, puede ser que sea presencial el evento, pero ahí comparte información para también hacer negocios en línea, ¿verdad? Que puede uh -huh. ser a través de una página web, pero no tiene página web tampoco el, el, el Se trabajo. Cree, eh, creo que al inicio la crearon, pero... No se está como al pendiente de... Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí. Entonces sí puede colocarle que... ¿Cómo se llama? No, porque no... Porque como se llama, no, no se realizan o no participa... En eventos. En, en business events. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Listo. Y la segunda que es Are you good at networking in business? If... El del networking to the In the example, the example, yes, the example, uh, the networking could be when uh, uh, you offer me a K preparation service for the cars, and I, I say you know, that I need the service, you know, so it's to ear to ear, you know. Um, okay. It's like a to. Uh, business car maybe in the in these classes uh, we have to permit uh, a knows uh, the companies and share uh, information you know 
maybe the endorphin is, is like that. It's, uh, I don't know, it's like a, a interview, you know, okay. with the people, yes. It's very important uh, change uh, the business card because uh, new, new, new contacts for, for business every day. Yes. It's, it's, it's very important. Yes. Uh, they, they, uh, they, uh, a new capacitation for the employees. employees. A new training, training. Yes. A new training. Hello, teacher. Hello, a new training. Yeah, a new training. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, finished, not yet. Yes, I think, no, yes, teacher. Um, I need to cart on for graduation. Ah, for level number three. <laughs> number four. Yes. Yes, for number four. Okay, yes, I'm teacher. going to close the room because you know what? Since we came back from the practice of the conversation at the beginning, and we got started to the survey, I didn't remember, and you didn't remember about the attendance, the first attendance. So I'm ah, going to it's cierto. It's real. Yeah, because it is, sí. it is a real agenda. Okay, so let's okay. return. Okay, teacher. okay, okay. Yes. okay. Sorry, teacher, que quería unirme a la última clase, pero créame que esos dos días han sido fatales para mí. Le prom... estoy, teniendo okay. inconven... sí, really? estoy teniendo inconvenientes con la empresa porque hay unos documentos que los necesitan, pero urgentemente entonces estoy revisando y créame que si me distraigo un poco, me retraso. Anoche... Sí, me Terminé tipo medianoche para decirle algo. Really? Sí, really, teacher. Entonces es súper importante esto. Es que sí, es me imagino. sí, correcto, me imagino. Y you are a very responsible student, ok? So take it easy and we appreciate that you are here. But right see now you, I'm going to. See you uh, in the module four, Rafa. No, because I'm going to call the attendance and he has to say, here I am. <laughs> Don't say goodbye to him yet. <laughs> Además, está aquí por la picture también. The last picture. Yeah, the last, last picture. <laughs> okay. okay, Andrea Lisbeth. Yeah, the last picture. Okay, Andrea Lisbeth. Present. Okay, Andrea Lisbeth, usted me envió la captura de la encuesta. Sí, ya la envié. Okay, Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto, are you Present here? Teacher. Thank you. Yes, Elizabeth teacher. Johanna. Okay. Eli, Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Miss. Evelyn Jamilet. Present. Flor. Absent. Freddy Celiceo. Today he's absent. Okay. Hazel. Present. Thank you. Julio Cesar. Present. Catherine. Present. Thank you, Catherine. <coughs> Maria Isabel, she's sick, right? Leti? Present. Thank you. Marvin? Present. Thank you, Marvin. Um, Matthew is absent. Miguel Angel? Present, teacher. Thank you, Michael. Natalia is absent. Um, Rafael? Here, teacher. Thank you so much. Rudy? Rudy, what happened to Rudy? He lost the connectivity. Virginia? Present, teacher. Thank you. Wendy is absent. And Wilbur, okay, Present. here. 
Okay, class. So um, right now we're going to continue with the practice. And it was nice to have this practice because, um, you know, we need to recall some information, correct? So here we go. And now we're going to uh, continue working with our manual. And in the speaking activity, I was listening to, to you, okay, interacting. And I want to suggest you something or recall you. Remember that we have two verbs, say, Tell, tell me, I told you, correct? Say to him, say to me, yeah? That is the difference when you use them. And now let's see. Okay. And here we are. Okay, class. These are the questions that you were practicing. What is networking? Now, class, that you have been practicing and interacting, do you have an answer for this question? What is networking? In your own words, in sus propias palabras, what is networking? How do you define networking? Hello? Hello. Inter interchange. Uh, business card. Okay, so when you uh, create your contacts, yeah, you make contacts. That is your networking, but contacts uh, related to your work. Is that okay? Because if you say um, okay. social networks, no, because social networks are not necessarily associated to your work, but this networking, that's why it is working, okay? Networking, because it is related to your work, professional, okay? Professionally talking. Now, are you good okay. at networking in business events? I was listening to some of you saying, yes, I am, and some others were saying, no, I'm not, because in my company, we don't attend seminars, yes? Or uh, trainings, but, some others were saying, yes, I am good, or I attend. Do you often share business cards when you network? And the answer here is, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Because when uh, we say, do you often share business cards, they are making a reference, they are uh, pointing at the physical, okay? Business cards. Do you have business cards, students? ¿Tienen tarjetas de presentación de la compañía? Uh, yes, I, yes, you do. Uh -huh. And maybe Hazel, because of the nature of her company. I don't know. Do you have Hazel? No, I don't. No, you don't. Everything now is digital. That's yes. correct. Okay, yes. very well. And let's continue. In here, I want you to remember this. Did you enjoy the seminar, okay? Let's focus on that sentence. Because we have I want you to remember and to be clear on this. Remember that we use the modal auxiliary do to, to ask questions in simple present tense. And also does, yes or no, do and does. And we use do with the following subject pronouns. Do, I, I, you, okay. We, we, they, they, very well, they. And we use does with the subject pronouns. He, he. She. It. She, it. She, it. it. Very well. So there is no problem at all, right? Because everything is fine. But this is in simple present, correct? Simple present tense. But class, what about the simple past? 
simple past tense. The simple past of the verb do is did, yes? And it is easier to build questions in simple past. Why? Because you use did with all the subject pronouns. There is no special person here. And you say did I, I you, you, he, she, Okay, she, it, it, we, we, you, excellent, you, they, they, very well. Fíjense, no hay persona especial. Con todos los pronombres personales, either singular or plural, we use did, correct? And then we can say, did you like your food? Did you like your food? And then we say, yes, I did. In negative, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah. And that's it. What about the person singular? Did he... Mm, did he eat... Pupusas. Comió pupusas él o él comió pupusas. Comió él pupusas. It. Did he eat? It is third person singular. He. The modal auxiliary is did. And the verb is in the base form. El verbo va en su base. Miren. Did he eat? No lleva S porque no es presente simple. ¿Verdad? Y va en su base relacionado al presente. ¿Por qué? Porque lo que nos da la idea del pasado es el modal auxiliary did. Lo mismo sucede en esta otra pregunta. Did you like? ¿Ya? Did you? Did he? And the potential affirmative answer and negative answer for this question is yes. He, yes, he did. did. And in negative, no. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay, very well. Pero siempre iniciamos with capital letter. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, so this is the, 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 the core. Esto es el centro, el corazón de la lección. And then, class, here, we continue. Okay. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Noten algo. Learn in present tense. Then we have learned. Este es un verbo regular. Para convertirlo a pasado simple, únicamente le agregamos e de porque es verbo regular. Update es el verbo en presente. Como termina en e y es verbo regular, para convertirlo en pasado, únicamente agregamos la letra d. Y luego seguimos con learned. Igual, ¿verdad? Termina con N, agregamos ED. Y fíjense en esta estructura. Did you make new contacts? Hiciste nuevos contactos. Did es el verbo auxiliar. You, pronombre personal. Y el verbo make va en su base en presente simple, ¿sí? Y la respuesta corta. Yes, I did. Long answer, respuesta larga. I exchange business cards. Yo intercambié tarjetas de presentación de negocios, ¿sí? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta el momento? ¿No hay preguntas? Parece más fácil el, 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 el uso okay. del DID, ¿verdad? Sí, porque no está con el problema de la tercera persona de singular, ¿sí? 
Okay, so class, right now I'm going okay. to transfer you to the breakout rooms and then you practice this conversation, okay? I need you to practice this conversation the way it is and later you switch roles. So uh, I need to volunteers to practice uh, for the class tomorrow the activity. Do voluntarios. Me teacher. Okay, Miss Evelyn, you are Janet. Me teacher. And you uh, are going to be Luis. Let's begin. One, two, three. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart tall. tall. Right. So did you make a new con contact? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Thank you. Did you enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Not enjoy, enjoy? Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned. La E no se pronuncia, solo la N y la D. I learned a lot. Tell me. Tell me more. I updated. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Fíjense, a pesar de ser eh, verbos regulares, la pronunciación es diferente. Learned, updated, learned, exchanged. Acá tenemos las tres pronunciaciones. Eh, Hay tres diferentes pronunciaciones para los verbos regulares en pasado. Learned, terminado en D. Updated, y D. Updated, learned, exchanged. Y acá solo en D. ¿Sí? Ok. Now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so you practice this conversation. Ok. Make an emphasis in the past tense of the verbs. So, here we go. I'm going to recreate. Okay. I'm going to send you the invitation. Remember to switch roles. Okay, join your groups, please. Go to your groups. Okay, Marvin, join your group. In this group, Virginia, I'm yes, going to Virginia, transfer you. Yes, I'm going to transfer you to, to, okay, to another group because you are lonely, the lonely, Virginia. Okay, <laughs> go to group number three. Yeah, because I have only two students in that one. Y a ustedes chicos los voy a unir a otros también. Yes. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, ahora, uh, ahora Carlos con, con Luis. Hola. Okay. Did, you, did you enjoy the seminar? Julio. Julio. <laughs> sí, Hello, sí, Julio. sí, lo que me he perdido. Okay. Okay. Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I did. I would, I would be, be, you know, be better. Better. <laughs> my, new, my new working skill. Updated. I updated my uh, networking yes. skills. I updated. Uh -huh. I updated, updated my, my networking net... skills. No, 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 no. Listen. Repeat after me. I updated. I updated my networking. My networking skills. Skill. Skill. Okay. okay, continue. I learned to move from small to small tall. Okay. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. Exchange business car with 10 people. Awesome. Uh, so now uh, we interchange role. Okay. You begin, uh, Julio. Hoy me toca a mí empezar. Yes, yes, of course. Did you enjoy? No. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. Uh, I updated my networking skill. I learned to move from small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. Awesome. Okay, ahora Wilber comienza con Marie, con Leti, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated new work. No, I updated my networking skill. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with team, 10 people. Awesome. Ahora, usted comienza. And did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, 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 no sé si estará como oyente. Or, or like a listener. Like a listener. I, I think she is at the moment uh, as a listener. Okay. So ah, okay, if you okay. already did the practice, let's return to the main session room. Yes. So yeah. we can continue practicing. Okay. Here we go. La, la asistencia, teacher. La segunda. Oh, 
no, yes. thank you for reminding me, pero es a las 9.40, 9.40. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, exactly, okay. excellent, thank you. you. The You're picture. Ah, the, the picture, picture. <laughs> when we get back, yeah, yes. you remind me. Okay, class. Ay. Here we go. Activate your cameras for the last picture. And smile, please. Picture time. Yeah, picture time. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Rafa. Hey, Rafa, how hey, are Virginia? you, Rafa? Okay, working hard. Okay. So to the count of three, I'm going to... Okay, to take the screenshot and you happily smile. One, two, three. Ay, no. Carlos, let's see how it was. Perdón, perdón. Salió, salió el cacho ahí. Entonces... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. No, no. No, That's okay. 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 ¿Cómo se dice cuerno en inglés, dicho? Cuerno o cacho. Mm -hmm. Ay, I don't remember at, at this moment, but uh, horn, the horns, horns. Horn. Yeah, like the horns. Like a unicorn. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. O, o like yeah, a vaca. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a cow. Uh -huh. Horns, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. So here we go. Thank you. Just to remind you, we use, okay, here you have this information. Use yes, did or no as a short answer to questions about the past. Yeah. For example, use yes. And here we may say, yes, I did or no. I didn't, yeah? As short answers to questions. Now class, based on this conversation, let's choose the answer to the questions and compare with a partner. Did Luis go to a seminar? Yes, he did or no, he didn't. Did Luis go no. to a seminar? Okay, the answer is? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. Yeah. No, he didn't. This is the answer. Very well. Now, number two. Did Janet update her networking skills? Yes, she did or no, she didn't, according to the info. Yes, she did. Yes, she, yes, did. she did. Okay, very well. Now, number three. Did Janet learn to go from small to smart talk? Yes, she did or no, she didn't? Yes, she did. Yes, yeah, she, did. she did. Okay. Number four. Did Luis exchange business cards with 10 people? Yes, he did or no, he didn't? Luis. No, no, no he didn't. Okay. Obviously, no, he didn't because he didn't attend the seminar. That's correct. And now here we have. 
how to use simple past sentences and yes, no questions. Let's look at the words in bold and complete the sentences. I learned a lot. I updated my networking skills. I exchanged business cards. Luis didn't attend a seminar. Luis didn't exchange business cards. Now in questions, did you enjoy the seminar? Did you make new contacts? Did Janet update her networking skill, skills? Notice did the subject and the verb in the base form in present. Enjoy, make, and update. You for singular and plural. You singular and plural. And Janet, third person singular, and there is no change, okay? Fíjense para you lo podemos usar en primera, en segunda persona de singular. Y también lo podemos usar en plural, ¿verdad? You. Y no hay cambio en los verbos. Al igual que con Janet, que es tercera persona de singular, miren, update. Porque estamos utilizando el verbo auxiliar did en pasado, ¿verdad? Now, here. You have this info, so help me. The simple past describe past events. Then we use the verb in the ed or the forms or in the base form. In the simple past, like in the examples, I learned, I updated, I exchanged, I didn't attend, I didn't exchange. ¿Cuál es la forma verbal que utilizamos en pasado simple? The one ending in ed or the of the verbs or the base form for positive sentences. Ed, d form. Okay, this one. Yeah, the first alternative. And for negative sentences, we use don't or didn't. In past tense, don't or Did, didn't? Didn't. 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 And the base form of the verb or the ed and d of the verb? Base form. The base, base form. form of the verbs. Very well. But this is regular verbs. Notice que acá estamos trabajando solo con verbos regulares. Now, we start a yes no question about the past with do or did. ¿Con qué la iniciamos? En did, pasado. Did. Ok, did. Next, we add the, luego agregamos el subject or verb. ¿Qué es lo que agregamos? ¿El sujeto o el verbo? Después de subject. did. The, the subject. subject. Very well, the subject. Followed by the, he did the form or the base form of the verb. ¿Cuál forma verbal? ¿En pasado o la base del presente? Base form. The base form. Okay. In this case, we are working with regular verbs. Okay. And the complement and the question mark. And now class here. You are going to complete the questions below using the verbs in parentheses. You have to interview two classmates and take notes of their answers. Combine short and long answers. Did you attend to a seminar last month? If I ask, for example, let me see, um, Carlos. Yes, I did. did. You, okay, so his answer is yes, I, yes, I did. did. Okay, excellent. So, class, you have to build here the questions. And when you finish, Building the questions, you interview a partner, you ask the questions to a partner, and you write his or her answers. Is that okay? okay yes. Teacher. Pero antes les tomaré la asistencia. La segunda asistencia. Here we go. Andrea Lisbeth. Andrea Lisbeth is absent. Okay, absent. Uh, Carlos. Carlos, Here, Ernesto, teacher. thank you. Elizabeth, Johanna. Present. Thank you. Evelyn. Present. Flor is absent. Uh, Fredis is absent today. Yeah, Fredis is absent at the moment. And uh, Hetzel. Here. Julio. Here. Thank you, Hetzel. Julio Cesar. Here, teacher. Here, Karen, Beatriz, Catherine, sorry, Catherine, 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 Maria Isabel, she's at the hospital. 
Eh, Leti María Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Marvin. Marvin. Marvin Osvaldo. Matthew is absent. Miguel Ángel. Miguel. Present teacher. Today. Thank you. <laughs> Natalie is absent. Okay. Rafael. A listener today. Thank you, Rafa. Rudy. He lost the connectivity. And Virginia, you're here, yes, right? Teacher. Okay, thank you, Marvin. Wendy and Wilbur. Okay. Yes, okay, class. Now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms, okay? So you can build the questions. You practice constructing the questions. Vamos a practicar es la escritura de preguntas en pasado simple, ¿sí? Y las respuestas las van a escribir en equipo. Hagamos una como ejemplo, ¿ok? Acá le dan ya la estructura, miren. Did you, todas iniciarán con did you. Y el verbo va a ir en presente o en pasado. O en la base form, siguiendo estos ejemplos. Y la estructura que hemos estado trabajando, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Here we go. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms at this moment. Okay, go to your groups, please. Join your groups. Se me desapareció la notificación, teacher, lo siento. Miguel. Uh, permítame, Miguel. Usted está en el equipo, Miguel. Tres. Lo voy a transferir al equipo 2 y luego lo okay. renuevo, okay? Do you see the invitation? Yes. Sí, mira la invitación, Miguel. Okay. In the last month? Yes. En la yes. segunda, en la segunda, Carlos, entonces sería con. Ah, pero Julio, eh, eh, did you attend to a seminar last month? Es, yes, I did, ¿verdad? Yes, I did. Ajá, ok. Eh, ¿Y did si you... fuera negativo? No, I didn't. The... No, I, I, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Que no, okay. aplicaría para la segunda también esa. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh, si pero la negativa, mm, no, I didn't. No, I didn't in short answer. But... Uh, the long answer? The la, la, large in answer? Positive. Yes, I attend. Yes. I attend, attended a seminar. Last month. Mm. A negative answer. No, I didn't attend a, attended a seminar last month. Mm. It, it's correct, teacher. No, no, I didn't attend attended a seminar last month. If it is negative, remember, okay, the structure here, you have already told me. Uh, in negative is no, comma, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Como llevamos el verbo auxiliar did not, entonces el verbo va en su base. I didn't attend. ¿Sí? Oh. Uh, Ajá. No, I didn't attend a seminar. A seminar last okay. month. Okay. Okay, last. Okay, okay. Months. Okay, great. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, my pleasure. And the next uh, sentences. Did uh, you enjoy the seminar? Okay, and the the three answer, short answer, negative answer, and. Uh, Affirmative mm. answer, large. Yes, long, I... long answer. 
long, long answer. answer. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, I did. Okay. Uh, okay. The seminar. Enjoy the seminar. Yes, I did. Is the, the short yes. answer. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, in in that, negative, short answer. In, but in affirmative long answer. Okay. Yes, I, I enjoyed the seminar. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the, yeah, excellent, that's it. I enjoyed, enjoyed the, the seminar. Excellent, that's it. it. Okay. Enjoyed the seminar. Enjoyed. It. Okay. Yeah, enjoyed the seminar. In negative oh. answer? No, I no. didn't. No, no, I didn't I enjoy. Didn't. No, I didn't enjoy. Enjoy the seminar. That's correct. Okay, uh, Julio. Uh, Hi. Please, the number three. A question. Uh, did you meet new people? people. Yes, I okay. did. Okay. Y como negativo se... No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Large answer. Long answer. Long answer. Long answer. No. Yes, I, I... I meet. I meet new people. I met... Met. 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 Ah, met. Ese es un verbo regular. Irregular, perdón. Met. Irregular. Met. M -E -T. M -E -E -T. Excellent. I met. I, I met. met. Uh -huh. I met. Irregular verb. Y yes. en pasado cambiaría el. Sí, porque es. Met al method. <risa> no, porque no es regular. No. Es, es porque... irregular. Es irregular. Ah. Vea, le comparto. Entonces, los verbos irregulares cambian entonces tenemos okay. present tense, meet past tense, met past met. participle, met porque met. es irregular por eso se le llama oh. irregular ¿sí? porque varía uh -huh. meet, met, met ajá, ok, okay. Meet, met, met. okay. Meet, met, met. entonces en negativo cambiaría mm, no hay... you say no no I did it. Then meet. Meet. Oh. Ok. Uh, no, porque I didn't lo lle meet. como lo llevamos en su base, porque llevamos el verbo auxiliar. Yes, did. Yes. El did. Eh, uh -huh. Ok. Oh, él lo mantiene, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. That's it. That's it. Ok. The number four. No, Miguel, no, Miguel, creo que es Wilbur. Wilbur. Did you learn? Did you learn something? Yes, I did. Letty. Okay, in negative. No, no I, I didn't. No, I didn't. Learn. Okay, long, long answer. No, I didn't learn it. Something. Learned, 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 <laughs> learned, learned, learned. Sin, sin solo la, la L, última, ¿verdad? solo la última E no se pronuncia, pero la de sí, learned, learned, learned. Ok, entonces no, I didn't learn sometimes, something, something, something. Okay. Okay. Number five, did you network in the convention? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Uh, yes, I networked in the convention. Mm, the other is no, I didn't network in the convention. Mm -hmm. Okay, and number six, Julio. 
Hello, okay. Julio. Hello, hello. Vishnu Visco. Um, yeah, Number yeah. six. <clears throat> Sería este la... Number six. Did you... Change. Did you exchange. Exchange. Did you exchange? Huh? Uh, this... Business card. I am The answer. Eh, yes, eh, ah, el negativo es positivo, le tendría que poner. Uh, Bow. Eh, Ambas. Did you, did you exchange business cards? Y ahí sería, yes, I did. O, no, I did. No, no I, I did. did. No, no, I, I did. didn't. No, I, no didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. Um, okay. Long answer. Exchange. No, I didn't exchange. exchange. No, I didn't change a business, business card. Wilbur. Wilbur Francisco. Javier Martinez. The no number. Five? No, uh, listen, I want you to answer the following question. Wilbur, do you have 10 minutes for me after class? To, yes, teacher. To have us a golden touch, the last uh, practice, okay? Reading, we're going to practice reading. Is that okay, Wilbur? Yes? Okay, teacher. Okay, great, thank you. Now continue, uh, Carlos, because you are the, you know? Oh, you okay. are leading the activity right now. Sorry for the interruption, teacher. No, no problem, teacher. It's, okay. it's the last, it's the last class. Okay, no okay. Continue, continue. Okay. Um, Letty, and please again with la más cosa. Okay, did you did you finish building the sentences? Yes. Yes, teacher. And uh, do you have uh, the same questions? Todos tienen las mismas preguntas. Ya compararon? Yes. Yes. Y todas las respuestas las tienen en afirmativas y negativas. Sí, tenemos unas negativas y unas positivas. Eh, no las contestaron todas afirmativas y negativas. No. <risa> No hicieron eso. Ay, no, Virginia. <laughs> yes, it was supposed so you had to practice as much as possible. Tanta como fuera posible la práctica, okay? So I have some questions for you. Evelyn, did you enjoy your vacations? Okay. Did you enjoy your oh. vacations? Mm. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> okay, Virginia, did you work on vacations? Trabajo en vacaciones, Virginia. Did you work on vacations? No. 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 No qué? No, no sé. No hay. No hay tú. No hay tú. No. No, no hay. Espérame, espérame. Virginia. No, I didn't. ¿Ok? Um, no. No, I didn't. Uh, let's see. I, I don't know if uh, Mervyn and Hazel are available. No sé si estarán disponibles. Ellos. Rafa está disponible. Ah, no, no. Hazel sí estaba disponible. Ah, when you were practicing. Ok, mm -hmm. but since you finished the practice, yes, now we're going to return to the main session room, yeah? In order to make sure that okay. we have the same questions, yeah? Thank you. Here we go. Okay. Okay.
Okay, let's wait for the other partners to return and then we check out the, the answers to standardize, okay, all the questions. Oh, they are still working. Mm -hmm. But in five seconds, four, three, two, one, everybody here back. Okay, class, here we go. Let's see, let's standardize the questions and the answers. And let me see. Hi, I'm going to share with you. Oh, where is it? Over here. Okay, so question number two should be Did Did you enjoy? Enjoy. Did you enjoy the seminar? Number three should be Did you meet? Did you meet? Did you meet? Me. New people. Number four should be. Did you learn? Okay. Number five. Did, did you network? Did you network? Okay. Number six. Did you exchange? Excellent. Did you exchange business cards? And here the answer is yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Yeah? Or the full answer, the long answer, the complete answer. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. okay so I have some questions for you. And here we go. Uh, okay. Wilbur. Did you enjoy the day at work today? Did you enjoy the day at work today? Did you enjoy the day at work today? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, probably too much work. <laughs> Very honest. Thank you, Carlos. Come on, Wilbur. Okay, <laughs> Carlos. Did Hello. you did you enjoy your lunch today? Did you enjoy your lunch today? Yes, I did, teacher. Okay, thank you. Evelyn, did you take a shower today? Yes, I did. <laughs> Be honest. Okay, uh, Julio Cesar, did you brush your teeth today? Did you brush your teeth today? Yes, I did. Okay, very well. Marvin. Hello, Marvin. Marvin, are you here? Marvin, this is... Oh, okay, I saw him. Uh, Virginia, question for you. Virginia, did you cook dinner today? Virginia, did you cook dinner? Virginia, are you here? Virginia? Ah, no, Virginia yes, no I did. Cocinó la cena. Did you cook yes. dinner today? Yes, I did, okay. Hey, mm -hmm. Hello, Hazel, are you here? Miss Hazel? No, she's not. Letty, <laughs> the question goes to you. Yes. Okay, Letty, did you, did you go to work today? Yes, I did. Excellent, very well. Okay, class, listen, it was a real pleasure to be working with you in this level. Congratulations for your persistence and your responsibility. I wish you the best. And I expect that all of you are going to be uh, in level number four, okay? So remember that you need to continue practicing as much as possible. Nobody else is going to practice for you. Nadie más va a practicar por ustedes. Ustedes lo tienen que hacer. Es error y ensayo, ¿verdad? Nadie es perfecto y nadie nació aprendido. Así es que don't feel discouraged. No se sientan desmotivados porque eh, pronunciamos mal una palabra, aún en nuestro idioma, en ocasiones las pronunciamos mal y luego nos autocorregimos. Lo mismo sucede con el idioma inglés, ¿ok? So it was so good, a pleasure to be with you, and I wish you the best. Have a good night, and only Wilbur is going to stay with me, ¿ok?
blessings and sleep thank well. You, okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Enjoy this day. Disfruten estos Good night. Good night. Thank you. Okay, my thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Good night. Thank Good all night. of you. Bye-bye, my pleasure. Take care. See you bye. next level, teacher. Bye, teacher. See you. Bye. Blessings. <laughs> God bless you. Bye-bye. Only bye. whoever stays with the teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye, Julio. Thank you for being here. It was Bye, a teacher. pleasure to be your teacher. Bye -bye. bye. Bye. My pleasure. My pleasure. Bye. Bye. Bye, Mervyn. Thank you for being here. Okay. We're going to practice uh, reading. Okay. I'm okay, practicing. Teacher. Okay. Because we need to practice reading. Well, you, you have a good practice, but. Here, okay, you are Luis and I am Janet. Let's begin. Okay. Uh, did you enjoy this seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell, tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Okay, great. Now let's switch. I begin. Did you did enjoy did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged exchange business card with 10 people awesome very well now let's go over the previous conversations over here with nisa ah here we have a pretty long one yeah so we have miss state mr john mario and leo so i am going to be miss state and uh, leo you are going to be Mr. John and Mario. And Is that okay? Mario. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I'm Miss State. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you, Miss State. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager. And this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Uh, oh, <laughs> great. Oh, Mr. Young, what does the girl over there do? She's, she's Nisa. She's in charge sh of horses. Purchases, purchases. Purchases, purchases. Remember, when we say purchases, you don't pronounce the U. Purchases. 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 Okay, purchases. now, yes. Now you read all the conversation. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? You read the complete conversation. Okay, yes, okay. it is your okay. practice. <laughs> yes. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I am Miss Tate. I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mario, Mr. John. <laughs> Great, Mr. John. What does the girl, girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of porches. Purchases. Excellent. Purchases. Very well. Great. Now, it was pretty long, right? Okay, here we have this conversation between Rick and Jack. 
You are Rick and I am Jack. You begin. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex, Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex, does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Let's switch. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex, Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Now you read along. All the conversation is for you, sir. <laughs> okay. My name, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex, Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Very well. Now here we have the definition for headquarters and the definition for branch. Okay, read please the definition for headquarters and the definition for branch. Headquarters, the place where a company or organization has its main office. Office. Offices. Offices. Okay. And branch, a shop or office, office representing a large company or organization in a particular particular area. Very well. Okay, so here you have a headquarters and the branch. Yeah. And very well. Good reading. Good reading practice. Mm, the values and the, if you remember, the mission and vision. So we have Daniel and Jessica. You are Danny and I'm Jessica. You begin. So, so Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex now for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clubs we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're, you're right. Rex is a rated has one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, now we switch, but we are going, going to use our names, okay? So, uh, Wilbur, what does your company do? At Rex, Rex. we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And uh, are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal personnel is important for them. Congratulations, uh, Wilbur, you're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Only one thing, absolutely. 
Repeat. Absolutely. Abs Excellent. Very well. Now read the conversation along. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex now for? Rex is now for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex, Rex is rec recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is a right hit, has one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. Very well, great. And the last one, I think, uh, here we go. Okay, Jessica and Roxana, but we use our names, okay? I begin. Uh, Hi, Wilbur. Welcome to Rex. My name is Irma. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Irma. Irma. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Irma. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Now switch. You begin. Hi. Hi, Hi Irma. Welcome to Rex. My name is Wilbur. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Wilbur. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety the safe, safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in the is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Wilbur. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, now you read alone. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is rep responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great, our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Thank you so much. Great. Okay, Wilbur, thank you for giving me your time in order to practice. It was okay, a real pleasure you. to work with you, okay? It's a pleasure for me. Okay, continue practicing, okay? You have to practice as much as possible. And good luck for the next level, okay? Have okay, a good night, teacher. relax. Have a good night. Okay, have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.